My name is Captain Finn. I teach sailing at the Sailing Academy. Right now we're going to go over uh, how to unfurl a roller furling jib. One of the first things we do is we want to take the lazy side or the lazy sheet and release it. We want to take it off of our winch, keep our fingers away from the winch. Once that's unwrapped, I'm going to go ahead and move over to the leeward side of the boat. And I'm probably going to start with two wraps on my winch drum. I'm going to take it off the self tailor and whoever's pulling the leeward working sheet um, is going to gently start pulling on um, the leeward sheet and we're going to release the furling line at the same time. And if we look over here, we have the furling line which is attached um, to, the, to the lower pulpit or the lower lifeline. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and release that and evenly pull out the jib sheet at the same time. We don't want to just let a furling line out and let it spool at the furling drum up at the bow um, because then we'll get all tangled up. So we want to keep just a little bit of tension on it, but not so much we're playing tug of war with the person trying to um, roll the, un unfurl the jib. Okay, so this is my furling line that it's hooked to my stanchion right here. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off. I'm going to flake it out on the deck and just make sure it's not tangled or uh, going to knot up on me as I try to unfurl my jib. So once it's nice and flaked, I make sure it's going to be um, not going to get tangled or anything like that. Um, I'm not going to unlock it just yet. I want to make sure and I'm just going to check that my winch is wrapped properly. Um, so I'm going to take it and you can reference our how to wrap a winch video um, for further details on this, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it really quick. So I want to make sure uh, that I have two good wraps on the winch. Three tends to get tangled on the smaller boats, um, on the smaller winch drum. So I'm gonna start with two. If I need a third wrap, I'm gonna do it once the sail's under load. Um, very important to know how to wrap your winch at that point. So again, go reference our how to wrap a winch video. Um, once I have two proper wraps going clockwise around my winch drum, I'm going to make sure it's not wrapped in the self tailing um, at the top of the winch. But once I'm ready to go, I can go ahead and release my furling line right here. This has a cam cleat on it, um, so I'm just going to release it as I pull here. Now, ideally, if we have a crew doing this, um, one person's going to be handling the furling line, one person on the lower jib sheet. Um, you would also be facing forward. For the purpose of the video, I'm facing to the back of the boat so you can see the system and the sail, um, but I would actually be facing forward so I can watch what I'm doing in this situation. So I'm gonna go ahead and release my furling line and pull my jib sheet at the same time. As I do that, I'm keeping just a little bit of tension on my furling line. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and hit the like button in the description. Subscribe to the Sailing Academy channel and we'll give a lot more sailing tips and advice here in the future.